Hey you all, I'm Joe, and today we're going to talk about how to cool your base on Venus the legit way, and how to do it in such a way that is just ridiculously efficient. To do that, we're going to jump right into the quick part. Here are the required things that is needed. A single pipe going into a gas exchanger from an AC. A three-piece wrap into a T with a vent. That is the cooling section and the cooling loop completed. This will guarantee that we will get cool air with only 300 watts. The second part is a back pressure regulator set to 1 kPa. That ensures that the kPa in here will stay around 5, meaning that it will be able to be constantly cooled more efficiently by the AC and it just drops the temperature very rapidly. The heat exchanger is another big key here in this because the heat exchanger from what I can tell could be wrong here but this is just how it seems to work is the temperature of this is what the heat exchanger sends over here and then it sends this temperature over into this pipe here weird I know it's crazy but it may not work that way but it definitely appears that way because when I increase the pressure that's in this pipe the temperature drops slower and slower which I guess you could use it to like control how you want the temperature to fall so let's look at this real quick like we have just atmosphere inside this I, I initially I was doing this with oxygen because that's where the whole thing came from and I was like you know what let's just let's just do it this way there's no difference between what gas is in here you can cool anything you want it does not matter it's just that is what I was using that's the only thing so it doesn't matter what you put in here you put oxygen actually this whole thing started because I wanted to cool my oxygen in my let's play and I wanted to do it in a way that I didn't have to I didn't have to like mix gases and do all this extra filtering I just wanted one shot one go well with an AC and a filter but anyway this gets turned on set to my uh, negative 200 celsius we're gonna start it we come over here we fire up the back pressure regulator we come down here we look at this pipe it's 267 it's, it's almost it's wow it's it's 200 off of the actual temperature just from go now let's look at the big tank over here we've already dropped what 20 degrees look at or 37 35 it's 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 rapid and the more this cools down the faster it cools down because you were exchanging less heat and then as you can see up here here's the 410 or 11 for some reason like I said it reads here changes up here I think or down here it changes the temperature to 401 down there no no so it just reads from this side because this is where air is being pushed in you could put a push system over here but I wanted to save power and it would be more efficient and it would do it a lot faster but it reads the, the temperature from here since the temperature over here reverses the temperature back over there which is why we want very little pressure in here because low pressure, better cooling. Now this is all fine and dandy if you want to come over here and press this button whenever you get to said temperature. Speaking of, let's automate all this. And that's what this over here is for. You can do all this with logic chips and things like that. However, for some reason, I can't understand how logic chips work. It just, my brain will not wrap around it after a certain extent. Let me get up one of you. Ah, Venus. I love this planet. Okay. So to do all this stuff, I had to learn MIPS. And to learn MIPS, I, everything that I write up until I get good at it is going to be overwritten. For example, this lovely piece of code that I'm super proud of. Super proud of this, by the way. Have I mentioned how proud of this I am? On the, on the IC housing, whatever, I have D0123. And we have that to tank to the air conditioner to the LCD and to the back pressure regulator, which I've done tank AC LCD BP. Next, I wanted to convert the Kelvin to Celsius. The, the one thing about this game is, is there's all these different values of everything, which is cool because it's very real life. I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm just saying melts my brain. So I want to focus on one number. And since Celsius is more seen, Celsius it is. So I want to be able to see Celsius on the LCD and see it instead of seeing the Kelvin number. And I also want to change colors, which is why we have the this alias here for O temp. Now, also to do the color part, I've set green and orange in here, which 
two and three, like two is green and three is orange, but I've defined the word green and the word orange. And it was mostly just so I could practice code. <laughs> that was really it. And, and plus, I think it looks better. We're going to get into the meat, though. Huh? I guess it was one of those tanks down there. Yeah, you know, th that happens a lot around here on Venus. Now that we've loaded from the tank the temperature, we're going to store it into our temp value or a temperature. Temp for short. Right. That is up here to R2. Okay, now I want to see that on the LCD, but I want to see it in Celsius. Very simple. We're going to do a subtract line. So we're going to subtract the temperature from 273.15, which is Kelvin minus 273.15 equals your Celsius. That was the most simplest formula that I could find on the Googles. And we're going to save the value of these two into Celsius or into our cell uh, alias up there. And then we're going to save the setting into the LCD and the value of cell will be what gets sent out. Now, for another unnecessary part of this code, again, I'm learning it, so I want to put more into it. I want to change the color. Well, to do that, I need to compare. I need to compare a temperature to a temperature. Probably not, but this is how I understood it. So I want to save less than the temp versus the O temp and store that into R0. And then I want to select the... Uh, what is it? I want it to select that number up here. And then we're going to go green or orange, depending on the difference between these two up here. And then that will get saved into R0. Then we will load that number because we're just reusing R0 a lot crazy here as a color. So if it's the temp, it will go green. If it's an old temp, it will go orange. Ah. Uh, like it basically it's whenever the temperatures match up it will go green so whenever it gets to where our target is it's when it'll go green it will stay yellow until it's at a set point so when these two numbers meet it will be okay the first time through it's going to run green though but it'll quickly switch back then we're going to move the temp to the old temp and then that's how i get my little comparison loop going on so basically whenever the temp is 20 20 it will go green and everything will be good now because of all this right here we're going to put a yield in which basically just pauses i think that's how i remember it saying and good to go the next thing is we're going to do the control for all of the other stuff we're basically going to say save greater than the temp or sorry, we're going to turn the temperature into a true or false value. So it either is or it isn't. All right, we're going to save greater than temp. And if it's greater than this, it will send a uh, send a true statement. And then that true statement will be used to turn on the AC. It will open the AC, which our open one is to actually start the AC and it will turn on the pump. When the value gets, when the temperature gets below that, it will turn all of this off. We're gonna confirm that, we're going to export, we're going to not die. Let's get some lights going on here and let's turn this on. And everything is working like it should, except for you, turn you on. And there we go. We have Celsius converted from Kelvin. So the tank is 357, 56. Look how fast that temperature is dropping. Now it is taking about, I don't know, let's let's call it a game day-ish. Maybe a little less, maybe a little bit more. Maybe not even that much, maybe like a half. I think it's just, yeah, it was like a half a day. So a half a day to go from 463, 64, 63. Uh, that's, that's, those give off some heat over there, that thing does. Anyway, it took basically half a day, maybe a day depending on what you're doing, to get down to our targeted temperature. And once that registers, 
everything is good to go. And it was that brought down to 19.92. I'm still playing with the number to get it at exactly 20, but you know what? 19.9, I can live with that all day long. And as you can see, the final part of the code registered both numbers the same, and then I got my green state. I'd like to make it to where it starts at red, slowly becomes different colors up to green as it hits like a temperature area, but I'll work on that later. But there you go fam, fully automated, base cooling the legit way on Venus with a stupid simple script. As always my friends, I'm going to enjoy my time on Stationers. I hope you enjoy yours and I will see you next time.